So Dr. Vina can tell us about uh, how chiropractic helps babies. Well, Miss Abigail, I've been working on babies now for 30 some years and um, I came from South Dakota in this little town in the southwest corner of South Dakota where I was basically the only doctor there and people would bring their, well everybody, but they'd bring their babies in, their kids, you know, um, complaining of all kinds of things all the way from uh, swallowing things that are making them throw up to breaking things like their arms or uh, but the most um, the most gratifying types of things though concerning like babies and chiropractic are ear infections and how really uh, obvious it is that the birthing uh, the act of birthing a baby oftentimes in this country is considered uh, a medical procedure or something so we have to rush to get the baby out we have to make sure that we use instruments to help the baby out you know forceps or suction or things like that and oftentimes you know basically pulling a baby out of the birth canal can be very traumatic and it separates the base of the skull the first cervical vertebra and the second cer cervical vertebra and those vertebra are where the brain stem exists in the human being now when that gets off, the messaging starts to get all screwed up and the, uh, the drainage of the head itself and the lymph system doesn't work. As soon as that happens, now all of a sudden you have pressure in the baby's head. See the, the ear canals on a baby are level, so they don't drain well. As the baby's head gets bigger and we turn into a, you know, a, a, a two-year-old, three-year-old, a five-year-old, ten-year-old, okay, the, the head starts to lengthen. And, in size and in height so the ear canals start to angle a little bit and the contents start to roll out naturally. In a baby we don't have that, we don't have gravity, they're not using themselves the way adults and, and older kids are. So the hoses inside the lymph system, the drainage system itself can be pinched because they're trying to go around these bones as they kind of negotiate the base of the skull first and second cervical vertebra. So the chiropractor is able to go in there and very gently start to put things back into place and stimulate the baby's lymph drainage, therefore decreasing the pressure on the tympanic membrane or the, the eardrum, therefore ear infection is gone. When in fact, probably wasn't necessarily an ear infection, but uh, the British, uh, or the New England Journal of Medicine, I think, is who did a study. Gosh, this has been 15, 20 years ago. And the, the number one reason that antibiotics were given for ear infections to a young mother and their child who was exhibiting these, this pain and it was crying, the number one reason to give antibiotics was to calm the mother down. It's not necessarily for the baby. Okay, mm -hmm. then of course we go on to put tubes in the ears. To, we're trying to decompress the, the membrane. We want to control the explosion, basically the pressure inside the head. But if you, if you have chiropractic adjustments instead, it's almost instantaneous. Just a, a treatment or two and it's amazing how much better the baby can get. So that's probably the coolest, uh, neatest part of chiropractic and pediatric care. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. And it sounds like much needed. Much needed. Every child should have an adjustment no matter what. If everything appears to be perfect, no matter what. It's one of the most challenging things in the world. If we knew how scary it was to come into this world, we probably just would have stayed.